again guardians and welcome back to the channel for another Dustin content related video now in today's video please bear with me and stay in mind that this content is going to be a lot different than the standard content you see on the channel in the background the video is going to be playing out a cinematic scene of the different sceneries of destiny so the worlds of destiny the different planets the different cutscenes, all of that is going to be played in the background while i talk about the community in a whole first off this is why I love Destiny. So if you guys aren't familiar with this kind of content on my channel, please bear with me, watch the entire video, and then drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And please don't leave any hateful comments if you didn't enjoy it. I won't have this kind of content on my channel very often, but I did want to speak my piece and kind of give an understanding of how I feel about the community. The very first thing I want to go over though, this community brings people together this community has done a lot of great things for different people that have had a falling out in life and have had a rough time and had to find a way to survive. People have gotten married over the game. People have become best friends over the game. People have even learned to cope with life's never-ending hardships by just playing the game. Thanks to Bungie, thanks to the developers, thanks to YouTube, thanks to Twitch, and thanks to the many, many people that get involved in people's lives. So, from the next time that you jump into a fire team, remember, you might be changing somebody's life by simply jumping into their party chat and having a good time with them. It might brighten up their day. They might be having a bad day from work. Maybe they might be getting divorced. Maybe somebody in their family just died. Try to jump into their party and have a good time with them. Let them enjoy life not the hardships of that life moving on we're going to go over a story of somebody a very important story of a person called excalibur 26 on the subreddits of destiny and it reads how destiny saved my life now this guy's story was so profound that i decided to make a video of this detailing why i like the community and why i still play destiny even during the dry spells when there's nothing to do Long time lurker, more or less first time poster to tell a story. My name is Kale. I'm 22 and I'm from Toronto, Canada. When I was in the eighth grade, my parents got divorced and it killed me. I didn't really understand this at the time because I was too busy with hockey and friends to really even stop and consider how I truly felt, whether I was happy or not. As I started high school, I was pretty much your average Joe. I had a small but tight knit group of friends and even made it on the high school hockey team. For a while, I thought I had overcome my parents' divorce, but I know now it was far from this. Around this time, my mom was diagnosed with diabetes. For the first year or two, my mom was sick a lot, and it caused her to lose her job. After this happened, I had to quit organized hockey because we simply couldn't afford it anymore. I still played shinny, pretty much a pick-me-up basketball with hockey. When the winter came around and the cities opened up the doors for the open rinks, the people for them to play on, but I realize now quitting hockey really affected me. Not long after this, I started to smoke weed. While I don't think it's entirely that bad, it was a coping mechanism. My grades started to slip and I started to skip school a lot. It got to the point where there was no return and I was kicked out. This is when my weed addiction got really out of hand. I started stealing money from my family to feed my habits and blaming society for the mistakes I made. Slowly but surely, I was turning into someone I never thought I would be able to. A failure. For a long time, all I did was sit around all day, smoking weed and playing video games. It kept my mind off of the grim reality I was facing. Then I heard about a new game coming out. It was called Destiny. It looked fun. And it made me want to go and get it, and it was made by my favorite developers, Bungie. I pre-ordered and got into the beta, and I tried it. To be honest, I hated the game. When I first played it, the PvP was laggy, the missions were boring, I didn't want to buy the game, and I didn't plan on buying the game until my no-ex best friend told me to get it. Patrick, if you're on this sub, by chance, I would like to say thank you for making me buy this game. I bought the game and went to the midnight launch. We got the game and came back home and played it all night. I fell in love. The art design, the music, the gameplay, everything about this game was amazing to me. 
after this, I had a fallout with my friends and no longer was hanging out with them. This time in my life was the hardest. This was the rock bottom, as they would say. I hardly left the house. I barely ate. My mom was getting worse. But through all that, destiny was there when I needed it. I could take out my anger on the game and not my family like I used to. This was when I went on welfare to help my mom. For about a year, I just played Destiny and lived off of handouts from the government. Not to say welfare is bad or anything, I understand now that it's for people that lose their way, like I did. But I felt bad. I felt like I didn't add up to anything in society, and for a little bit, wanted to just end it all. Until I met a girl off of LFG who invited me into her clan. We played the raid every week, even trials when it came out. She taught me a lot about life and why it's special. She taught me to grab life by the horns and have a cocky smile while doing so. Surely, if you're out there and you're listening to this, I want to thank you too. She even inspired me to go and get my act together and gear up and get a GED. I write this while I'm getting ready for school after Christmas, and I just want to thank Bungie and the amazing community around this game for saving me, for teaching me life is worth living, and that there's people out there that are good in this world. From the bottom of my heart, I truly thank you. Ooh, just wow. A profound story based on destiny. We've seen stories like this in the past. We've seen a brain surgery survivor get a brand new weapon from Bungie. We've even seen a person get married to their soulmate over destiny. So, with those kind of stories in the background, this community is probably one of the most profound and amazing communities to be a part of. And with that being said, this video and this purpose of this video is due strictly to this. I want to say thank you guys for getting me to where I am today. To allow me to grow on YouTube and get to almost 10,000 subscribers. There's almost 10,000 people following me on just YouTube alone. And with that comes a great deal of of a sense of community a sense of fellowship and all of you out there i think of you as friends and family you've allowed me to create a career for myself and create my own job but let alone allowed me to continue on with my greatest hobby i love making videos i love creating content for you guys on the daily and with that again truly just like the words coming out of Excalibur 26's mouth, I truly thank you for everything you've done for me. So, moving on, I wanted to go over one last thing before we end of this video, and that is a simple little thing that one of the people commented on Excalibur's post. It stated, Some people look towards amazing events, near-death experiences to change. The little things that happen around us, like a video game or seeing somebody stop a car and get out to help somebody, they are the things that can make people change and forget their past problems. My mother died when I was 12, and a week before my 13th birthday I started drugs, fighting, soon after I got angry, and even the people that bumped into me. There was a guy that bumped into me, and I was ready to fight an adult at 13 years old. The adult looked up at me. All he said was, I'm sorry, you can hit me if it really makes you feel better. I won't fight back. I was like, wow, why am I like this? I vowed to change and I did. I'm happy for you. So there it is, another sense of community. Somebody posted a really nice comment on Excalibur26's post after spilling out his guts all over social media. I don't even see one hate comment underneath this Reddit post and it's well deserving that truly shows how profound this community is and i would also like to give a shout out to one of my greatest friends that have helped me and i've all, i've even also helped her her name is maxi may and i'm going to be linking her twitch account down below she really deserves the love and appreciation that you guys would go and give her give her a follow on her twitch channel it doesn't cost anything and definitely watch some of our live streams sometime because if you guys want to l watch live streams I'm definitely gonna be start live live streaming soon so if you like that kind of content and you want to see me live on destiny and also Maxi May live on destiny definitely go and give her a follow 
She, out of anybody out of my friends list, definitely deserves it. Honestly, I think she deserves 10,000 Twitch followers more than I deserve 10,000 YouTube subscribers. Again, guys, thank you all for watching this content. Thank you all for watching this video all the way through to the end. And if you loved this content video, subscribe for Daily Destiny content if you're new. If you liked this video, drop a like, share with your friends, and comment down below any of your questions and concerns. And again, Guardians, like always, I'll see you all starside in the next video.